it was efficient. Right, I'm back in. I've just got up. Well, I'm not up, I'm still in bed. And I'm going fishing today. Although I feel like staying in bed at the moment. Um, got a new garbly in M1 pole. And I'm looking forward to testing it. Oh, yes. Let's get up, get dressed, and get on the bank. All packed, all loaded, poles in the car, about 8 o'clock, oh, stereo's coming on, bit of drum and beers. Turn that off I think. It's about 8 o'clock, got loads of time to get there, even from by my standards I'll be there on time. Um, let's just get there, hopefully traffic's alright, and we'll be out and fishing in no time. Well, uh, <laughs> this is a good start, we've got 5 minutes down the road, and it's total gridlock. Oh no, we're actually moving. Right, now we're here. That was nice and easy. Um, car just needed chopping the front off in the car park. Nice, thank you very much, mate. No, anyway, we're here now. Took about 40 minutes, not bad really. Um, looks a lovely mild day. The forecast is good. It says about eight and a half degrees on the old ca uh, on the old car thermometer. Um, let's go and have a draw. I ain't even got a clue what lake we're on today. We'll just have to see, won't we? Yeah. 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 Well, that means I've got the bonus peg, doesn't it? It's two lifts. Oh, oh, it's a uh, bag of doom. Bottom pole. That's the bonus Ten. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> peg ten, bonus peg. Lake I've never fished before for a long, long time anyway. Bottom pole. Let's just try and find me peg now. Where's bottom pole? Where's peg ten? There's peg twelve. Eleven. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. There we are, peg tent. Oh, strange little pot there. Another little pot there. Little corner there. Point of an island there. That's only about six, seven metres away. Uh, a bit of a point there. Uh, nowhere near that big island. Nowhere near them flyers over there. But it looks like a typical, typical Johnny Arthur peg. Let's get loaded up. Back the key nets, 50 pound limit. We'll have to see how we go on with that. Some bread there, oh yes. Might do a bit of dobbing, you never know. And a couple of rivalers. There we are. Right then. Okay. goggles on. <laughs> Alright, well I'm pretty much set up, although I've only got one rig put up at the moment. Um, bit of a mare at the moment, I've dropped a plummet in and more importantly I've dropped a number four section in so looks like I'm going to be getting wet after the match. Um, anyway, that's my peg all set up, looking nice and hunky dory. There's some of the anglers I'm fishing against. A couple there. There's Pete Hancock's on the island. Oh, I think he'll be my biggest threat today. So uh, it's not a big match, but you know they all count. 
and it's just a nice t way to test the pole. Here's me bait, a bit of crushed expander, corn, maggots, some dead maggots to try, micros and four mils, and uh, there's milks I'm using today mostly, gamma blacks, and most important part of the day, some biscuits. Right, but my reckoning we've got about five minutes before the start, so I've got the pole out, I've got loads of options today. I'm right, I reckon I've fished right up to about 40 and a half metres chasing the fish up that far side of the island. Um, I've only set up three rigs, a dobbin rig and then two main rigs that I can fish, well the utility rigs, they can fish at all, all sorts of depths wherever I drop my rig. It's quite, it's about six inches between all the depths. So uh, I'll show you my rigs anyway, if I just flip this over. I've set up more top kits than I need, I've only got three actually rigged up. Um, here we go, got nine hollow elastic, coming down to a nice little Dacron nectar. A little 4 by 12 Chianti float. I'm just using old rigs today. I never mess around. On these sort of matches, I just use whatever I can get to hand and use up old rigs. It helps clean my tackle box up a bit. Just got a strong bulk of number 10s or number 11s. 10s they are, I think. And a little 6 inch hook length with a shot on. And then at the end, I've got. Actually, this one's an 18 Kamazan F1. A new, a new hook pattern. The other one's got a 16 Gamma Black, and uh, I'm also using the new stripper kits. You can see them there, or pull a slot kit, should I say? And the beauty of them, I can actually use a bead there, as you can see. I can actually pull that down, and uh, you can actually tension your elastic. Nice little touch. Right, let's go. Oh, these biscuits ain't gonna last long. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Right, I still don't really know what my target is. I'm imagining it's small F1s, odd big F1. I know there's some big carp in here. I've not fished it for years and years and years. I've not really paid any attention to the matches on here. I don't know, the target, 40 pounds perhaps. A bit more, it's just suddenly gone a bit mild. I mean, 20 pounds have been winning matches here recently. But I think we need a bit more today and uh, hopefully it's me that's do it. Oh, I'm on the bonus peg as well, so that might be a nice uh, little number if I can pull it off. We'll have to see. Hmm, it's not going great. I've had an F1 on corn and a perch on a maggot and I'm not getting many bites. They're catching a few to my left. I think I made a bit of an error trying to plumb around this, this island and all this shallow water around to my right. I think the fish are probably in the open water to my left. Um, I'm going to give it another five minutes and then I'm going to put another rig up. Uh, pole's alright though. Halfway through the match, we've got ten to a dozen F1s. Can't get a bite. Um, two guys are catching, and the rest of us just don't seem to be able to catch. I'm now fishing 14 and a half metres, as far out on the peg as I possibly can, and uh, it's pretty desperate to be honest. I just need a good last two hours. The pole's holding up well anyway, it's quite gusty today. Uh, it's just uh, not catching me any fish. Fishing 14 and a half metres, all the way out to there, towards the guy over there. The float's not really doing much at the moment. That's Pete Hancock who's winning it. Um, just need my float to go under. A couple of big lumps, please. It's, it's a good foot shallower to the right down this narrow arm. And I don't think I've had anything other than a silverfish from here. All the fish seem to be in the bowl to my left. And uh, as far away from me as I can get, really. Huh. Well, just had this nice F1 down the edge. Exactly where I just said I couldn't get a bite. Uh, hope it's a few more there now. Well, this is a result. I've suddenly caught where I didn't think I was going to catch 
down in the shallower water I've just had probably five or six on the bounce I've lost one that just came off but I've had another one since so it doesn't seem to have spooked the fish um, strangely I'm catching on corn corn over micro pellets if I put a put a expander pellet on I can't get a bite which is rather bizarre so uh, anyway I'm not knocking it because at least I'm starting to catch a few now um, I don't think I'm going to win at this rate but at least I'm catching good, good F1 on corn again come to Johnny Went quiet, just had a little mirror cart there. Very wet. Get the camera wet. There you are. Nice little mirror. Um, it's not been very good. Not very good at all, really. I've had a good two hours at the end where I've you know, caught fairly okay, but just three hours where I haven't really had a fish. I probably had five fish in the first three hours. Then I've caught some like at 30 metres down where I didn't think I was going to catch. And strangely, all on corn. Mm. Pole was good, but fishing's not been great. I've definitely not won today, unfortunately. Bonus peg safe. Oh well, weren't as bad as I thought. Thirty pound, thirty-five pounds won it. So I've caught well in the last two hours. If I'd have caught well in the first couple, then uh, it'd have been a different story. But that's fishing. Thirty, thirty pound of fish in five hours this time of year. I'm fairly happy with that, I suppose. Um, I haven't won the bonus peg, but I've had a day's fishing, and I've christened my new pole. Ooh, that's cold, <laughs> but I got my pole section back. Result. Uh, my ghoulies are about the size of um, hmm, a shrew's nose at the moment, I think. Well, anyway, I'm going to warm up and uh, put some clothes back on and uh, get home in a nice hot bath, I think. Yeah. Soaking wet undergarments in there. Oh, it's cold. It's a little bit cold in that lake, <laughs> but at least I got my pole section back. Um, I've not got much clothes on now, if you can imagine. Um, I'm just going a little bit commando on the way home. But um, So the sooner I get home, the better, I think, and get in a nice hot bath. Um, it's been a good day. I've enjoyed fishing with my new pole. 13 metres to the right, I've caught really well in the last two hours. First three hours I've not done very well at all though, that's the only problem. And and corn, what's all that about? How come I've only caught on corn? I mean I've fish fed pellets, but I've had to catch on corn over the top. It doesn't make sense, but that's fishing, isn't it? So uh but thumbs up for me M1 and um I've got a match with it tomorrow, so uh let's see how we get on. And just like I said, there's only one way to end this day, and that's uh in the old bath with my little rubber ducky. Say goodbye.